Hi, it's Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Monday the 6th of August where I just look at one of our signals for our potential fifth wave moves from our stock scanner membership for Wave5 Trade. So in the members area, our members get the opportunity to download spreadsheets with uh, scan results for potential fifth wave trades because they're the highest probability move on both long and short and also for the weekly, daily and the 60 minute time frame. I've chosen potential longs today. Uh, a member simply go into the long and for today they click on the image, download the spreadsheet. Spreadsheet looks something like this. This is the 60 minute time frame. I've gone for an example on here. Uh, also at the bottom of the spreadsheet you'll see the tabs for daily and weekly. I'm going to concentrate on the 60 minute on one of these here right now. So I've chosen MPC on the 60 minute time frame. I'm going to use the Ninja Trader version of our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite from Wave5Trade.com. For our users that already have this, uh, I've isolated beyond this uh, low here, uh, around about July the 5th, something like that. Just, just gone to the left of there to get those ABC corrections in. And as you can see, if we zoom in a little bit there, you will see a little line on this big red candle. That's the start of our wave count and then the, our indicator suite automatically labels the Elliott wave. One, two, three, four. It's the wave four that we're interested in at the moment and that's where we get that behavior for that wave four to look for those high probability fifth wave moves. In our stock scanner membership we've got three main filters that deals with, it, deals with this. Um, we've got the wave four pull back into our automated probability zones as you can see it currently the wave 4 has found support on Friday in the green zone this is an 85% probability if that support holds and it starts to move up we'll get an 85% probability it's going to go on and hit our fifth wave target here in blue around about $84 the second filter for the data is that the 535 has pulled back between 90 and 140% during that wave 4 and that has happened here so far and what we're looking for if we get that continued movement higher today on Monday we'll start to crown on that oscillator and pull back also our stochastic has pulled back against these false breakout dots the yellow dots here denote a very strong bullish move on this wave 3 and then the wave force pulled back against there and crossed over for a second time now in this oversold zone. It's that second time that's going to dictate our conservative entry strategy. So let's have a look at that. As you can see, it's been a quite a complex wave four in that we did pull back here. We didn't get into the uh, probability zones, but now we are. But we've got to make sure we've got quite sensible and conservative on this entry. So for me, I've gone for an entry way outside our 6-4 moving average high, the green moving average here, um, but also above this plateau. So the highs of Thursday and Friday as well. So that's a big resistance level there, around $80.30. I've gone for an 80.38 entry, could even go a little bit higher, around about $80.50. And the stop loss uh, is just below the wave four low there. That gives us a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 into the lower part of our target zone there. That's why I said even if you went a little bit more conservative at around about 80.50, you would still have the 1 to 1.6 into that target zone there. So targets around about $84. A very very simple setup it is complex wave four uh, but you just got to be sensible with those entries and be quite conservative so very briefly we've had the wave four pullback against a strong bullish move on the 60 minute time frame for MPC we've had confirmation from the 535 and the stochastic and our automated pullback zones that this is a good wave four all it needs to do is move away break the resistance from Friday and Thursday and we've got a good potential long there, up to $84. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day, and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.